it's increasingly clear that the, the whole planet is under threat because of increasing greenhouse gas emissions. We are 65% through our budget uh, that we have available between now and 2050 to avoid catastrophic climate change. Getting to zero emissions by the year 2100, how do you do that? That is a big transformation of our country, of our energy sector. It's not just fuels, it's chemicals. It's the materials in your car, it's the materials in your carpet. And no one company, no one person can do it alone. There's a growing sense that it's time, it's the right time to do something. And we, I think, in BiofuelNet are gathering the right types of people who can address these issues and start moving us in a direction that is more sustainable. If you are, want to be at the nexus of everything that is going on in the world, you are in the right room because you are actually working on stuff that's in the headlines every day and you're working to change outcomes. We're at the Advanced Biofuel Symposium. This is the second ABS that we've, we've hosted. The purpose of this meeting is to bring together biofuel researchers from across Canada so that we can learn some lessons from each other uh, and really move our research agenda forward. It's quite a pleasure for me to be in such a uh, group of distinguished uh, scholars, researchers. We bring together a huge proportion of the total graduate students, postdocs, etc., which we refer to as highly qualified personnel, and really a, a pretty large slice of the researchers together at the same time. We get them into the same rooms, we get them into the same space, so they're talking to each other. There are more than one billion gallons of fuel actually being produced around the world right now. We have keynote speakers who have uh, the big picture on various aspects of biofuels and biofuels development. It, it brings together people in a way that, that can result in potential collaborations, interactions that just wouldn't happen otherwise. Until BiofuelNet was formed, until we had this sort of central organization, uh, our research really was siloed across Canada. Now we've got our own hub, you know, to organize that research around. And I think that in the last year particularly, I'm starting to see the benefits of, of bringing that community together. I started off in my own domain in the field of agriculture and soil science. And through being involved in BiofuelNet, I have learned a whole lot of other things about using, for instance, um, materials from the agricultural sector as feedstocks for uh, biorefineries and all the different technologies and the transformations that can be done with it. This is uh, uh, now a network that is able to take on some new challenges and to look at bigger questions around the sector. We're no longer really just focused on, on pieces of technology. Now we're focused on how that technology can be applied in a country as complex and as dynamic as Canada.